Good morning students. This video is for class 8th. Subject English Literature. It is taken from the book Honeydew. It is our chapter number 1. And the name of the chapter is Best Christmas Present in the World. It is written by none other than the famous writer Michael Morpargo. This is my lecture number 1. No one wants a war. Nobody likes to fight in a war. If two nations can sit together to find a solution instead of fighting with each other, that could save lots of lives. That exactly the thought reflected in the story. The best Christmas present in the world. But before I shall tell you more about it, let me introduce you about the author. Michael Morporgo is born on 5th October 1943 at St. Albans in England. He completed his education in England at King's College, London. He quickly achieved fame as a short story writer. His famous short stories are Little Manfred, Listen to the Moon and Dear Ollie. He is best known for writing children's novels such as War Horse, Why the Whales Came and Private Peaceful. His work is noted for his magical storytelling. He is presently living at Devonshire in England. Before start reading the introduction and the summary of the chapter, let me introduce you about the main characters of this chapter. Jim McPherson. He was the leader of his English troop. Troop means soldiers. Before getting into war, he was a school teacher in a Dorset which is present in the west part of England. He was brave and courageous as he was leading his troop. He was kind and open-hearted person as he shared his time and happiness with enemy army also. A loving and caring person due to his love affection towards his wife shown in the letter. Connie McPherson. She is the wife of Jim McPherson. After her husband went to war, she spent her whole life in belief that she will see him again. A fire broken in her house. Burnt her partly. We found her a woman with extreme love for her husband. Hans Wolf. He was the captain of German troop. He worked in an orchestra in Dusseldorf before the war. He was friendly as he first insisted make friendship with English. He also had love for football and adventurous mind. So, let me tell you about the story that we are about to read. It is one of the best Marpogo story with the backdrop of the World War I. In the story, the main character describes his experiences through a letter to his wife. So, let's see the introduction of the story. There are some dates and periods of time in the history of the world that are so significant that everyone knows and remembers them. The story you will read mention one such date and event, a war between the British and the Germans in 1914. Can you guess which war it was? Now let's read the summary of the story and understand in the detail. The roll top. The author found a roll top desk in a junk shop. There were scotch marks on the desk. Scotch marks means burn marks. It was in a bad condition but cheap. He thought that he could restore it means he could repair it. So he bought it. He began to work on it on Christmas Eve. The letter he pulled out the drawers. The one ear had lifted almost everywhere. 
the meaning of veneer means the thin layer of plastic he found that this had been badly damaged by fire and water the man who sold it had told him that it was very old it was of 19th century and made of oak meaning of oak means it is a kind of a tree the last drawer had stuck fast stuck fast means shut tight he had to use much force to open it when it opened it revealed a secret space in it he found a small tin box on the top of the box these words were written jim's last letter received january 25th 1915 to be buried with me when the time comes inside there was an envelope with the address mrs shrim mcpherson 12 copper beeches bright pot dorset the date was december 26 1914 this address was written on the top and inside the letter in it he found a small tin box on the top of the box these words were written jim's last letter received january 25th 1915 to be buried with me when the time comes inside there was an envelope with the address mrs shrim mcpherson 12 copper beeches bright pot dorset the date was december 26 1914 this address was written on the top and inside the letter jim and connie the author read the letter the owner of the desk must have put it in the letter had been written by a captain of the english army his name was jim mcpherson he had written the letter to his wife connie mcpherson a wonderful incident had happened on the battlefield on the christmas day jim mcpherson had narrated it in his letter unforgettable moments the english and the germans were at war the two armies stood in their respective trenches on the two sides of the no man's land the meaning of trenches is long deep ditches in the ground where soldiers hide from the enemy and the meaning of no man's land is an unoccupied area suddenly macpherson saw someone waving a white flag from the enemy side then he saw many german soldiers calling out to them they were wishing a happy christmas to the english soldiers some english soldiers shouted back same to you surprisingly they saw many germans moving towards them the captain was alarmed it could be a trick but it was not germans were bringing with them german wine and canned meat now there were no rifles between the soldiers they were hugging one another the german officer moved towards macpherson they shook hands very warmly then the german officer said that he was from dusseldorf and that he played cello in the orchestra the meaning of cello is a musical instrument like a large violin he gave his name as hans wolf in return macpherson also introduced himself he said that he was a school teacher from dorset dorset and hardy hans wolf smiled he said he knew dorset in fact he had never been to england but he knew english his favorite writer was thomas hardy his favorite book was far from the madding crowd it was from there he had learnt all about dorset macpherson shared with hans wolf the christmas cake 
which was sent by his wife for him. Henceful said the mercy pen was the best he had ever tasted. And the meaning of mercy pen is a sweet covering on a cake made from sugar, eggs and almonds. It was a wonderful Christmas party. War or football. Then a soldier brought out a football. The soldiers played while Macpherson and Hans Wolf clapped and cheered. Hans Wolf suggested that the world would be much better if the problems were resolved by a football match instead of war. The celebration. After the football match, all the drinks and eatables were consumed. Now it was time to go back to their places. Hans Wolf saluted Macpherson and walked away slowly and unwillingly because he did not want to go from there. That night, the Germans were heard singing a carol, means Christmas song. The English soldier replied with a rousing chorus of the another carol. They exchanged carols for a while and then it was all silence. Macpherson wrote in his letter that he would treasure, means he would store those moments, those memories all his life. The Hop Macpherson ended the letter hoping that the war would end soon. Both armies desired for peace and he was sure they would be together again. The Burnt House Having read the letter means after reading the letter, the author put it back in the envelope. He decided to give the letter back to whom it belonged, means to the owner of the letter. The address was of Brightpot, Dorset. So he dropped to that place, means he went to that place. The house number 12 turned out to be a burnt out shell. Meaning of burnt out is destroyed by fire. It was found that Mrs. Macpherson was in the house when it caught fire. The fireman had saved her just in time. She was 101 years old. Now she was in a nursing home. Mrs. Macpherson, the author, went to the nursing home. He met the matron. Matron means a woman in charge of domestic and medical arrangements. She told the author that Mrs. Macpherson was rather confused that day. They had put her in a conservatory. Conservatory means a classroom. The author found Mrs. Macpherson sitting in a chair. Naturally, she looked up at the author vacantly. Vacantly means with empty eyes. But her eyes lit up when he called her Connie and gave her the letter. Lit up means became bright with happiness. He told her how he had got the letter. But she was not listening to him. She reached out and took his hand. Her eyes were filled with tears. She felt that her gym had returned. She said that her gym had kept his promise. He had returned on the eve of Christmas. She made him sit beside her. She kissed his cheek. She talked long and lovingly to him. She said that she had got the best Christmas present in the world. This is the end of the lecture. So children, you have to complete the homework on the basis of the chapter explained by me and your homework is read chapter 1 and write word meanings highlighted in this video based on the understanding of the chapter write the answers of the questions mentioned in the book honeydew as page number 10 comprehension check question number 1 and 2 page number 14 comprehension check question number 1 5. Page number 15. Comprehension check. Question number 1 and 2. Page number 16. Comprehension check. Question number 1 and 2. And last, 
पेज नंबर सिक्सटीन वर्किंग विद द टेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर वन टू सेवन दिस होमवर्क यू हैव टू डू इन योर फियर नोटबुक विद योर नीट एंड क्लीन हैंड राइटिंग बाय राइटिंग फर्स्ट वर्ड मीनिंग्स एंड देन क्वेश्चन आंसर्स व्हिच इज देयर इन योर बुक थैंक यू एंड हैव अ नाइस डे